Oh. And here it oh. What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Sean, and today we're going to be reacting to Wendy's three B-sides from her new album, Like Water, Why Can't You Love Me, The Road, and Best Friend with Sulky. So yeah, I am super excited to get into these B-sides uh, from Wendy, the two, I guess if both of them were title tracks, the, the two first songs from the album were um, absolutely amazing, the lyrics were so good. And just the, you know, the powerful vocals from Wendy were, were amazing. And you guys told me that all of these lyrics are... Well, Wendy haven't like directly uh, written them. She has uh, told uh, the the guys who who wrote the lyrics her feelings and everything uh, and what what she wanted to convey through these lyrics, which I think is super super cool. Uh, so I'm um you know I I'm thinking that some of these uh, B sides have something really to do with this whole uh, hiatus she's uh, been going through, especially the the one called the road. It really sounds like it's you know going to tell about. What, what she's been doing, uh, what, what's what been going on uh, throughout this uh, hiatus. But yeah, as lyrics are important for these uh, these B-sides, I will be watching uh, lyric videos for all of them. And uh, this is from a new uh, new channel. I've, I've never uh, used this channel before for lyrics video lyric videos. It's called Hansa Creative. Um, so let's hope uh, these guys don't make as many mistakes as, uh, as many other uh, lyric video channels do. And let's just get right into the first one. Why can't you love me? All right, Wendy's Why Can't You Love Me? Let's go. Oh, okay. Getting some R&B vibes. Old school R&B. So just from the title, it sounds like it's going to be more of a of a love song, uh, but let's see. But like this first, just this first line for, uh, with an unusual, unusually cold spring in March is uh, is interesting. It, it, this could, you know, also be linked to uh, fans, for an example, like missing the fans because she's not there. Wow, this was not what I was expecting, but it's so good. Oof. I was not, as I said, I was not expecting this like R and B vibe from from or like the, a full on R and B song from uh from from Wendy, but it's so good. I love that do, 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 in the background. Oof, and then even we only the first second verse and she's already doing all that with her voice. That's crazy. And it sounds nothing like the, the other two songs in it, but it's still so good. And, and, and I'm picking up the pace a bit. Really like the pace as well. Doom, 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 doom. I really the, the like the the emotion she puts into her into her voice is so good. You can really f you can really feel <clears throat> you can really feel it. Like especially like that. Oof. And, and of course, doing the little ending. That we need from these uh, these R&B songs, right? You get this very jazzy, bluesy R&B. It's so, so good. 
Oh, okay. So this is don't forget to subscribe. Sure. Sure thing. Okay, so that was uh, Wendy's Why Can't You Love Me. I, I, I really, for me, this uh, honestly sounded like, or at least the, like the lyrics sounded very, like a very, very genuine um, love song. Uh, why Can't You Love Me? Someone who's, uh, I guess, been rejected. Uh, which I, I would not get why anyone would ever reject Wendy. So uh, it's probably not uh, from, uh, from something that happened for real. But uh, you know what I mean. But uh, man, yeah, I really loved uh, Wendy's voice uh, in this kind of R&B uh, themed uh, genre thing, a uh, concept, I guess you could call it. She she did so well. It's it's really nice to see this, I guess, kind of out of the left field song coming in, and she's just you know mastering this uh, this genre already. It's it's so nice to nice to hear, and and the way she you know uses her voice throughout this song is absolutely amazing. Um, I've this is so good but yeah let's move on to the next one the road all right wendy's the road I've, i'm feeling this, this is what i'm feeling uh, has some has some lyricism that really connects with when with uh with wendy but uh, let's see if i'm i'm true with that and if maybe it's only the first two that that had that but let's uh, let's go this road oh wait is that Okay, so okay, the the thumbnail does say the road. I guess uh, they made the mistake of writing this road. This is is already already both <laughs> very bad for this uh, lyric ch uh, video channel. But maybe mistakes. It's very quiet. Paul is just a very this oh, this whole like album has been really vocally uh, ruled like no EDM or anything like that no, no dance music yeah, this is more of a one. Oh, and here, it, oh, and, oh, the chorus has nice little breakaway from from the 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 verse and and how that that goes. It's. So with, with Wendy's more giving Wendy more place to you know show off. Oh, I thought it was going to pick up again from the uh, from the drums right there. Love this kind of music. This really slow, slow. These slow verses with with a like a banger of a chorus. Like it's so powerful the chorus. Normally you'd get like a more of a of a uh, of like a quiet bridge, but with having this really powerful bridge uh, connecting with the chorus is so good. The vocals are amazing. Mm, 
song and, and she's cha even changing the frequency of her voice throughout this. Is it ending now? Oh no, picking up again? Oh. I always love that when they kind of remove the instrumentals. Uh, that's... It's like... Like... Wow. Oh, the vocals are like... That was so many high notes, vocals, and just that, like, in 10 seconds. She, when she just has this, like, perfect, I guess, Disney princess voice, it's crazy. Like, if if we would need a Korean dub for a Christmas, a Christmas Disney princess, it has to be Wendy. Like, listen to that. And then the quiet, quiet piano to just, you know, end it, end it off with. Damn, that was, wow, that was so, so good. The, okay, so I'm thinking, uh, I said this was uh, probably going to be like a, I guess, like a, a me metaphoric, uh, me a metaphoric, analogic uh, version or li lyrics for like, Explaining how she felt through uh, through her hiatus, and I still, while I'm not sure that's uh, like the complete intent, I do really think you can you can uh, draw the parallels uh, through this. There was a lot of you know um, looking back, and, and the kind of almost like you only really miss it when when it's gone kind of thing, um, and uh, and that's really how I f think Wendy felt when when she finally went on hiatus, like you, oh, not finally, but when when she went on hiatus. Uh, she, you kind of she kind of looked back uh, at, at her whole car career and and she kind of thought, man, I, you know, I really this is really what I love. I I really want to to get back to this and and she finally is back and that's just you know super cool. But yeah, let's move on to the next one, best friend with Solgi. All right, Wendy's best friend featuring Solgi. Let's go. Solgi obviously being probably my bias from Red Velvet. I really like her. Like it, these are like the, the two power vocals from uh, from RV, so it's gonna be great. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna assume uh, they're they're doing this correctly, like dividing it into uh, to Wendy and Sony, okay? Mm. I love all the all the piano that's used. Like it's almost acoustic. So one of this is supposed to be, um, you know, directly to Sogia, just uh, like Red Velvet in general. I'm, f I'm feeling this is going to like a Red Velvet song, like uh, Wendy singing to to the other members of Red Velvet. That, that's what I'm think feeling from, from this. Infinity greater than the universe. That's a nice, you know. That's a nice way of, of ex like explaining like grandiose things, right? Oh, when the bass coming in. It's a very, or like very, th this whole album is very R&B-ish, right? It's nice because because I don't think we've really we've really had that part of of Red Velvet uh, for full. Obviously, I haven't heard uh, all of the B sides yet, um, but I feel like this hasn't really been 
they haven't really had like a, uh, an album dedicated to to r b so it's it's really nice to see you know wendy debuting and, and having her own uh genre to do to go it was kind of the same with uh with irene and silky that subunit that debuting it was also so different from uh from rather it's normal stuff This chorus is also so, like, so sweet. It's just such a nice chorus. Oh, and now they're exchanging. Oof. That's a, you know, that's a nice twitch, uh, twist to put on it, because Wendy was singing it alone at, the f at first, and now Sulky and Wendy are singing it. Okay, the bridge. Nice, okay. Yeah, I get that feeling. Like what they're talking about like in, in the rings right here. No the the knowing knowing each other on, on another level. That's you know, that's what a what a real best friend is. Oof. The harmonizing. Oof. Sheesh. What a what a nice decision to do to make like to. Like, with this, like this whole last chorus, so good. Okay, nice. Okay, so that was. Okay, so that was Wendy's best friend, and I really feel like this song it was Wendy uh, explaining to the other members of of Red Velvet, and may maybe even uh, the fans, like, thank you for, like, I feel like the core message of this is like, thank you for staying with me. That that's what I, I'm getting from this. It, like this, thank you for helping me through this this difficult time. That's that's really what I'm getting, and I I really really like that kind of message. You know, I all I always really. Um, put put K-pop songs above others when, when they are like when, when there's like a really specific feeling uh, hidden hidden within it. Like especially when it's a good like a a thank you song towards either fans or the other members or just you know anything uh, in general. It's just always so nice to hear. But yeah, guys, that was the three B sides from uh, Wendy's album Like Water. And man, this was just such a I have to say, like the most prominent uh, genre from this was R and B. It's it's so nice to to see this side of, li listen to this side of Wendy. It's you know it's it's always a pleasure to to listen to Wendy because she has absolutely stunning vocals, and, and turning it the whole album into such a vocally heavy and vocally focused album is obviously it's the, the the best choice for for a, a main uh, vocalist because she's already amazing. But it's so so nice to to you know. Uh, listen to Wendy expand on on this through through this album. It's you know it, it's just an amazing debut in de general. But yeah, anyways, guys, please let me know what you guys thought about these three B sides and the album in general down in the comments below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>